The week is starting off right, Monday night. And 2K Sports presents the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And reporting from the sidelines all game long, we've got David Aldridge. And here we can check out the story for Keegan Murray. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Now the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Underneath in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. And it's McCollum in at the point. And for the Kings, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Fox in the backcourt with Herter to his side. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. Nearing the midway point of the season now, G.A., what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You, you want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. Fox against McCollum. Sabonis high post. Just five to shoot. Back to Fox. Nails the wide open jump shot. Such a talented passer at his position. Sabonis is all about making winning plays. Ingram passes to Jones. Offline with his three. Barnes dishes to Fox. That shot off the mark. Good D by McCollum. Barnes against Ingram. Pulls up. Almost, but it rolls out. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. No good on the three. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. One thing that's really emerged, RJ, for De'Aaron Fox over the last few years is leadership. Yeah, hey, when you combine great talent and maturity, your teammates will follow the example you set. And he is setting that example night in and night out. Barnes passes to Murray. And that one, good. I like this from Murray, not just hanging out on the perimeter. For New Orleans, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Pass to Ingram. Down low. And Valanciunas kicks to Jones. Craps in the tray. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Outside, Sabonis. Barnes up top. And the pass to Herter. Sabonis high post. Barnes down low. He's covered by Ingram. Last game in New Orleans, they picked up the win against the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Yeah, your second unit, those reserves, they can swing a game. And loving when Ingram uses that length down low, not settling for the jumper. Back to Fox. Murray kicks to Fox. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Excellent use of size there by Valanciunas. Reaching out and just swatting that shot away. And there's a whistle that goes on Herbert Jones. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Sacramento. And then for New Orleans, Hawkins comes in for Herbert Jones. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for C.J. McCollum. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Passes it to Monk. The three buries the long-range jumper. 
And how about the quickness of that release by Monk, uh, an experienced catch-and-shoot player who feels comfortable firing from deep. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, playing that championship pedigree from Golden State, Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Oscar Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. What a move. Few do it as well as Zion Williams. Kings leading now by three. Inside, it's stolen by Valanciunas. Daniels passes to Williamson, and they pick up two. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Pass to Sabonis. Sabonis' a screen on Hawkins. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. Another three for Sacramento. What a tremendous ability to hit from so far out. That's a big-time three. Ingram dishes to Williamson. And here's Valanciunas. He had 15 points last out. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Pelican shooting their first free throw of the game right now. So both teams making some changes here. One shot. seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Fires from 18 and he was able to put it up in time but doesn't fall. So at the end of one quarter of play still a close game. It's Sacramento. They're up by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break so don't go anywhere. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Kings. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. The Pelicans trail. Backcourt pair is Fox and Monk. Then it's Trey Lyons. And it's Vizenkov in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And such a clever score. McCollum can unleash the floater, the pull-up. He's got it all. Back to Monk. Kings moving the ball around. Lyles sets a screen for Fox from the stripe. And the shot goes in. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now, here's Marshall. 11-point game is last outing. Richard, how about this? A lot of guys you played with are still in the lead today. Does that affect your analysis of their play? Oh, 100%. Nothing about me is impartial. If I don't like somebody, I'll say it to them, and I'll say it on TV. Take no, break. I'm just kidding, Take Kevin. Break. All kidding aside, Too I respect soft. all of these guys, and I try and be as fair as possible. First one falls for him. Sacramento making a switch here. Toscano Anderson's checked in. Jones checked in for the Pelicans. Up, 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 up. 
Marshall hits them both. Sacramento's gone three or four from long range in the game. Monk against Hawkins. Piles a screen on Hawkins. And stolen by Zeller. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. The pass to Marshall. It's Hawkins on the wing. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Kings trail by three. Fox gets to Monk. Fox against McCollum. Shot from the wing. And there are the Kings with another bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Shot by Zeller, no good. Fox deciding where to go with it. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Passes it to Lyles. Lock at six. On its way from Monk for two. And there are the Kings with another bucket. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Pelicans. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Sabonis, he's checked in for Lyles. Keegan Murray comes in for Toscano Anderson. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Duarte. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Malik Monk. New Orleans also making some changes. Zion Williamson's checked in for Cody Zeller. Trey Murphy comes in for Marshall. And it's Ingram in for Hawkins. And so McCollum will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by one. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. Then it'll be a home game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. And when you talk about big men, you won't find many guys more versatile than Demondis Simonis. Yes, he scores and rebounds at a very impressive rate, but what stands out to me the most is how amazing of a passer he is. That's why he was third-team All-NBA. Stolen by McCollum. The Pelicans have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Ingram passes to Jones. Now the dish to McCollum. Jones kicks to Williamson. Four on the clock. Let's it go from 14. His second shot goes in off to a good start, two for two. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Outside, Sabonis. 
Pass to Barnes. Williams in against Sabonis. Pass to Herder. From downtown. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Now here's McCollum. A 29-point game for him in the win against the Spurs in San Antonio. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Now it's a three-point New Orleans lead. I mean, call him a combo guard to whatever. McCollum is a scorer first and foremost. And when he puts it on the deck, young fella is going to the hoop. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. McCollum passes to Ingram. Back to McCollum. Williamson outside. Kicks to Ingram. Williamson is screen on Barnes. Ingram passes to Williamson. Yep, that one goes. Williamson's got the lead up to three now for New Orleans. Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. And a deep three from Fox. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Pelicans lead by three. Live from Golden One Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? Yes, it is. And kicking it off, let's quickly look at the Western Conference standings. Taking a look here now at New Orleans, they've underperformed thus far, but they're still tremendous. Now comes the hard part. They've got to tinker with the team until they find that championship recipe. Getting back to the New Orleans Pelicans, what a tight first half. The way they've attacked the lane, oh, my God, it's almost Shaq-like. They've been DPR, Shaq. Decisive, physical, and relentless. I think that just brought a tear to my eye, Kenny. I love you. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far, guys, in this one. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. So the Pelican Five right now. 
Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. And it's McCollum in at the point guard. And it's Ingram missing. The Kings trail by three. Herter with it. He has six. Sabonis high post. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And Fox gets it to go. Now that opens the passing lanes for Fox when he's scoring inside. Defenders can't quite be as aggressive on him. Jones the pass to Valanciunas. Now McCollum. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Lays it up off the glass. McCollum's got eight. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Sabonis finds Fox. With some arc. Yep, it goes in. The Pelican lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Sabonis. Trying to contain Sabonis, but the contact just isn't enough inside. Williamson against Murray. And there's the pass to Valanciunas. Dishes it to McCollum. And it's denied by Fox. On defense, Fox is so crafty. uses all of his natural talents to disrupt your shot. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Valanciunas. Kicks it out to McCollum. Connects from three-point range. McCollum's got the lead up to four now for New Orleans. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> now, Williamson following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum. Valanciunas sets a screen for Ingram. There's the triple. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Six-point game. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Jones the pass to Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. And they're just giving it to Zion and letting him go to work. Not a bad game plan, if you ask me. So the Kings timeout, call timeout. timeout. They're first. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Trey Lyles checked in for Keegan Murray. Chris Duarte comes in for Harrison Barnes. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. 
And then for New Orleans, Zeller, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Trey Murphy comes in for Ingram, and Hawkins subbed in for Jones. To the middle, there's Sabonis, and slam dunk by Sabonis. Yeah, I like that he's not taking any chances there. Sabonis goes up strong with the finish. Mitchell against McCollum. I pose Zeller. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. A moment now to see the numbers for Malik Monk. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. Averaging 17 points per game, five assists, and two rebounds. And to have a player who can fill it up like him coming in off the bench, what an asset. He's crucial to the success of their second unit because he can keep that offense rolling. And the first one at the line is good. And so Zeller nails both of them. The Kings trail by eight. Duarte passes to Sabonis. He kicks to Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Pelicans with the rebound. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. And here's McCollum for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. McCollum's got the lead up to 11 now for the Pelicans. To the inside. Out of bounds. Kings ball as Sacramento keeps possession. Jones checked in for New Orleans. Pelicans on D. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Sabonis' is screen on Jones. Just four to shoot. In the corner, it's Monk. Drills the three-pointer. Monk's got eight. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. The third quarter comes to a close. Pelicans ahead, up by eight. Live from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. Backcourt pair is Fox and Monk. Miles out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Duarte in at the three. So that's the five in the game. Oh, my goodness, the slam! And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there, Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. On a Ray TNT 5G slam cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Daniels kicks to Ingram. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Pelicans. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And also, they've made it a point to push it off turnovers. They're playing smart and alert, 
capitalizing on mistakes. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Pass to Monk. Here's Duarte. Trying to find Vox. Gets it to him. Excellent D that time from Jones. Pelicans leading by eight. Down low. Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Sacramento's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. It's Fox with the drive. Mm, that's some lightning speed right there as Fox earns himself a trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. One of the fastest guys in the league. For Fox, it's about using his blinding quickness to his advantage on both ends of the floor. Kevin Herter, he is checked in for the Kings. And the Pelicans also making a change. Marshall's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Pelicans leading by nine. Outside, Jones. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Herter. And for Sacramento, their shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Outside, Fox. Back to Herter. Six to shoot. Hunt finds the game. And a moment now to check out who the Pelicans have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Thursday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And no Shoot secret two. that this team can be very tough in their own building. And that's good news as they are loaded up with home games over the next stretch. This is a chance to create some separation. No good on that one. Some changes for Sacramento. Murray comes in for Lyles. And it's Barnes in for Malik Monk. The Pelicans also changing it up. Valanciunas who's checked in for Marshall. Zion Williamson comes in for Trey Murphy. And McCollum subbed in for Daniels. Good on the second free throw. New Orleans leading by eight. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Now Valanciunas and Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Sabonis, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Valanciunas against Sabonis. And Valanciunas kicks to McCullough. No good on the triple. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Fox passes to Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. We all know that Fox can score, but there he is reminding you that he can also drop some dimes. McCollum outside. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Shoots. And that one swishes right in. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. It's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. It's good. 
And give McCollum credit. It's big for his confidence when he's able to muscle these shots in. Outside, Fox. Sabonis and slam dunk by Sabonis. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. McCollum fires from way outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. McCollum's got 21. I don't think the range surprises anyone anymore. CJ can shoot the lights out from any position. Yep, it goes in, and the Pelican lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Fox. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. They've led by as many as 11 points. He dishes it to Valanciunas. Six on the shot clock. Valanciunas with a screen on Fox. Here's McCollum. Oh, and the dunk by Valanciunas. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They trail by nine. 104 left in the fourth quarter. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the break, listened in to Mike Brown. He was preaching the importance of effort, saying he wanted to see second and third efforts each possession. We need to be the more active team down the stretch. Guys? Thanks, David. against McCollum. Sweet move. It's good in the New Orleans. It is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Fox. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go and then this man is feeling it. Fox against McCollum. Here's Valanciunas and the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. And the seven-footer, Valanchunas, with the foul. A big who isn't just skilled, but also brings that toughness. And Valanciunas, no good on that. And a bruising, fundamentally sound big man. Valanciunas is a throwback. More importantly, he's willing to play whatever role is asked of him. Pass to Jones. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Valanciunas. There's the pass to McCollum. Clock at six. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum. Shoots over Herter, and it's New Orleans scoring again. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. 
And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, uh, there is a better game. There is a worse game. But, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game. I'm fighting. And uh, my job is to take rebounds, set of screens. I'm doing that job. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCollum.